What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Look, in today's video, I want to talk to you about a FedEx driver who fell asleep. He was hauling doubles and he side swipes his second rig. He got tired, he fell asleep. So we're going to break it down and I'm going to say what happened. It happened this morning out in Utah. But first off, I want to let you know that Trucking Life with Sean is now sponsored by Connect Now. These Connect Now Bluetooth headsets are awesome. They're great. They sponsor the channel. They make everything you need and nothing that you don't. So if you need a good Bluetooth headset, make sure you go to the link below so you can get the Bluetooth headset for the right price, the right place. Now let's get into today's video. Drive something like this, there ain't no oil in it, the oil comes out. Here now. I stopped here at this road range and went inside. The driver well, I was here in this. Kansas and we got the problem. They broke. If y'all ever seen anything like this, check this out. out in Utah, uh, going down I-15, a FedEx driver fell asleep. He was pulling doubles. Um, it said that his co-driver, he just swapped with his co-driver, so evidently they were team drivers, and the driver began to shift, and he was feeling a little sleepy, and he ran off the road. All right, check, check this picture out right here. This is what it looks like. They ran completely off the road. He ran into another rig. It caused him to turn over. This is a bad thing. So why did this happen? Uh... And he fell asleep. You know, he got tired. That's why I've always told my trainees, don't drive sleepy. It's a big deal. Uh, they were both transported to the hospital. It says on here that uh, everything was, they were okay. No life-threatening injuries. Uh, they were transported. There's no more information at the time. But I want to break down the signs of fatigue. And I want to break down um, how you can realize when you start to get sleepy. These are some tips that will help you out. And when you have these certain tips... Or with these certain signs, you need to pull over and go to sleep. So let's get into it. Number one is going to be yawning. When you start to yawn, you know you're starting to get tired. You know, excessive yawning can indicate uh, tiredness. So if you keep yawning, you keep yawning, 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 that is the number one sign that, hey, look, I'm probably getting a little sleepy. Number two is difficulty concentrating. Trouble focusing on the road or you start to miss road, road signs. You don't remember the last... 100 miles or so, that's another sign. Number three, repeated mistakes. Uh, making the same errors like uh, drifting in and out of lanes. Or if you got a manual and you're missing the gears, and you're not, you know, that, that was the old way of doing it. You know, the old sign of being fatigued is you're missing the gears, but you're drifting in and out of lanes. That is another sign of being fatigued. Uh, heavy eyelids, struggling to keep your eyes open, they're burning. Uh, uh, you're frequently blinking, that's another sign of driver fatigue. Okay, another one is going to be restless, fidgeting, feeling uneasy. Just, you know, uh, you're, not, you're, just, you're not getting real comfortable in the seat. You're moving around, you're fidgeting a lot. That's a sign of fatigue that you need to pull over. Uh, slower reaction times, delayed responses, braking and steering. Like, y'all, you come up with something, you're, 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 you're delayed, and you almost hit somebody. Those are, those are things. Your steering is not going to be right, okay? Uh, mood changes. You're going to be a lot more frustrated, a lot easier. These are all signs of fatigue. Uh, nodding off. Brief episodes of dozing off for a few seconds, and, you know, you realize you're falling asleep. These are fatigue <coughs> driving signs. Uh, increased physical discomfort. Tension in the body. You feel stiff. <coughs> Those are things you need to look out for. Uh, and then just loss of motivation. Just feeling less inclined to drive or just a lack of enthusiasm and you're just like, man, I'm just done for the day, son, you know what I'm saying? When you get those signs, those are signs of fatigue and those are the times you need to pull over, okay? Can this happen in the beginning of the day? Yes. Can it happen in the middle of the day? Yes. Can it happen in long hours? Yes. You never know when it comes in, but when it comes in, it's going to come in. So hopefully those tips helped you out. If they did, let me know in the comments that it helped you out. I appreciate you watching this channel. Make sure you hit the like button. If you got any value from it, Give me a thumbs up. YouTube does not monetize my channel. The only way you can help support the channel is go to the link below. Like I said, Connect Now sponsor the channel. Get you a Bluetooth headset. Or you can go, if I got Cash App, buy me a coffee, any of those things. Helps the channel grow. And more and most importantly, subscribing and hitting the like button. Because YouTube ain't been pushing my content. Hey, it's up to y'all guys. And make sure you hit the bell notification. That way you never, ever miss a video from Trucking Life of Sean. It's Trucking Life of Sean, baby. Let's get it. Thanks for watching.
trailer to go into those yellow lines, get it going in there. Then I'm always going to look over here to my right. I'm going to turn the other way and see how I'm working it in, giving it small corrections back and forth. 